Hey what's up it's Chrissy and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I got this moisturized and popping wash and go okay. I don't do wash and goes a whole lot on this channel but seeing the way that this came out I'm going to have to start okay. But before we get into this video I do need to get some things out the way. This video is sponsored by TGIN and although they sponsored this video the opinions are 100% mine and you know I keep it real. Plus this is not the first time that y'all have seen them on this channel. Um, they did send me, look at this, thank god it's natural, so cute. They did send me their moist collection. And there are certain, can you see? Ooh. And there are some things from this collection that I've already used and some things that I didn't, so I'm really excited to try them today. Also, um, don't forget to subscribe, okay? <laughs> if you're already watching this video or if you watched a couple videos, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family over here, okay? But let's just get into this video and how I got this poppin' wash and go. All right, so my hair is looking a little dry and a little flat, but we're about to take care of that in a second. Um, the first step to this is to go in with a cleanser. I really do like the girl in here cleanser, so I use it whether I have a protective style in or not. Alright, so for the sake of time, I already did the back of my hair and the half front portion. I'm going to go in with the Dove conditioner. I really just like the amount of slip that I get with this um, and the amount of moisture. So I'm going to separate that section into two sections and I am going to go in with the conditioner. As I apply it, I'm going to rake it through so I'm kind of detangling my hair as I apply the conditioner. And then I'm going to continue to detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb and then my detangling brush. said this before but I just want to say it again um, this detangling brush is the absolute truth this is the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush and as you can see it makes detangling really easy and it really brings your curls out So after I finish with this section, I am going to put the plastic cap on and leave my conditioner in for a couple of minutes. All right, and for the sake of time, you already know that I rinsed out my hair off camera and did the back of my hair. So let's just get into the front. The first thing I'm gonna use is the Sweet Honey Hair Milk by TGIN. I use this as a leave-in conditioner. I feel like this is super moisturizing. In my opinion, butters and milks are really moisturizing for your hair. And it's not a super thick, consistency it's a little runny which I like you know that I like water-based stuff and runny consistency products it just is easier to get into my strands and my hair loves a lot of water so any product that is like it I really love and as you can see it really has my curls looking juicy so I'm just gonna separate my hair into two sections and work section by section it's just easier that way I'm gonna go in with the honey custard curls and I really like this custard it's jelly like but you know this whole line is made with honey so every product adds a little more um, moisture and a little more definition to your hair so I like to just add it throughout my hair and I want to make sure I get in between um, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all like I don't always finger curl my hair unless I see like a frizzy part that needs a little extra attention um, but now I'm gonna go in with the honey whip hydrating mousse 
I do like this, but I want to let y'all know, I do say this later on in the video, that it doesn't have a super hold. It has It's lightweight, and to me, I would say it gives you like a light to medium hold. I did try to use the Extreme Gel on one section off camera, but I could already tell from when I used that that it was going to give me flakes, so I just stopped and continued with the mousse. I get so excited when my curls come out so popping. And as you can see in this section, I did feel like I needed to tighten those curls by finger curling it um, because it was looking a little frizzy to me. All right, look at my wash and go, y'all. So this is it. It's so juicy, so moisturized, so bouncy. I love it. I was really feeling myself in the shower. So right now I'm just gonna stretch my hair. I'm gonna take a ponytail holder and I'm just gonna put the back portion of my hair in a ponytail and bring that ponytail holder all the way to the end of my hair so that it could stop some of that shrinkage. Then I'm just gonna clip the front of my hair towards the back. And the clip is a little heavy, so I think that is good enough to stop some of the shrinkage. So I leave that in and I just let it dry like that. All right, y'all, so it's two days later and let's take down this wash and go. Um, ooh, I'm excited. It took a minute for my hair to dry, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna do this immediately the next day, but my hair took way too long to dry. So I'm just gonna shake it out right now, separate it so it's not so flat, and you can see what it looks like. I need to pick out the back a little more, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my pick, and I'm gonna just do what I need to do. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, I am shook right now. Never, and I say never in my natural hair life have I ever had a, like, a wash and go come out like this. It's giving me definition, like a twist out, but it's giving me like the length of a braid out. I am really shook. And I don't know if y'all know this, but I don't do a whole lot of wash and goes on this channel just because I wasn't really comfortable with it and I like for my hair to look a certain way. I feel like... The more I get comfortable with my hair and I learn my hair is the more I form like my signature look and I just needed to figure it out with the wash and go. But this y'all like, I'm sorry, I'm looking at myself <laughs> in the camera, but girl, girl. And when I tell you I'm moisturized, I'm moisturized, okay? This is technically day two. I didn't film the following day because my hair was still wet and that's another thing with wash and goes it just takes a really long time for my hair to dry um so this is technically day two that i'm filming but let's just get into these products because sis i gotta spill tea like <laughs> these products are, let's just talk about it let's just talk about it okay so y'all know that i use the tgin um moist collection that is what it says on the box when they sent it to me and maybe it is moisturizing i know a lot of people don't like that word moist <laughs> but these products like it really it really proved the point like if you want moisture this is the collection that you want to shop at tgin so let's go into each product and i'm gonna tell you what i think and how i use it so um let's just start with the hair milk i use this as a leave-in conditioner and i'm not gonna lie i feel like a lot of my moisture came from this you know milks and butters are really really moisturizing using this as a leave-in conditioner it was probably one of the best ideas <laughs> okay um i don't know if they said it on here it says use daily or every other day as needed um can also be used as a setting cream to create soft, smooth, and shiny two-strand twists and twist-outs. 
Um, so it doesn't really say to use this as a leave-in, but they didn't give me a leave-in conditioner, so I use this and that's all I'm using. The first time I tried the products, I did a twist out and I was like, yo, my hair is hella moisturized. Like, and I was just curious, even though it recommends to do these with twist outs and braid outs, this will be bomb for a wash and go, okay? Moisture. Moisture is this hair milk. Um, this next one is the Honey Curls Custard. I feel like it's more, it's a custard, like a jelly, you know? Y'all saw the consistency earlier in the video. I think this really helped bring out my curl definition and kind of seal in the moisture that I got from the hair, hair milk. So using this after, I feel like just really complemented that and further moisturized my hair. Um, and by the way, if you can tell, both of these love, 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 and I would definitely purchase this. Y'all know I love TGIN anyway, so. <laughs> um, and the last one that I use is the Honey Whip Hydrating Mousse. So I would say this is hydrating. Um, it is very lightweight, and I will not say this is ideal for a wash and go. Um, let me see what it says. Yeah, it doesn't say what specifically what style to use this for, but I just don't think it gives me enough hold to, for a wash and go. I feel like if I used the gel, some of my curls would have been just a little bit tighter, and I still do have some frizz, but y'all know I don't, oh, I got some in my hair, hold on. Y'all know I don't mind frizz at all, but I would just say this is not enough hold for me. This is really good for like a twist out some, or a style that you don't need too much hold, but this is very lightweight and I find that a lot of their mousses are lightweight like that. Um, and I wasn't originally going to use that because I already knew what it was. Like, alright, this is not my first time trying a mousse by them. And then when you read it, you can kind of tell like what's for what style. You know, so it says a lightweight mousse that eliminates frizz and gives brilliant shine and definition. Um, it did give me some definition. But I think it just really reinforced what the custard did. Um, so I really wasn't going to use this originally. I was going to use the Extreme Gel. But when I tell you, baby, flakes. Okay? <laughs> flakes. Like, I'm about to show y'all my shoulder in a second. All right. Look at this shoulder. Can you see? Can you see that? Like, it's mad flakes like a lot all on my dress it's just a lot of flakes then this shoulder I mean it's a little bit but you could barely see I don't see a lot of flakes on this side really I don't see flakes in my hair from where I use the mousse but honey <laughs> okay no I'm telling y'all right now I would have been so mad had I went through <laughs> my whole entire head with that gel that would have ruined my entire wash and go so just keep that in mind if you do purchase this collection okay i don't think it works well at all with this line unless you want to be flaky okay um but i end up going back in with this and i'm so happy with my results like i would do it again i would use it but if you want something tighter and something with a little more hold you might want to try another gel um so yeah that's it i love the products i definitely recommend y'all try it um i feel like the hair speaks for itself like <laughs> like y'all stiff wear bouncy moisturized i wish y'all could touch my hair right now because i can't really explain to you how moisturized my hair is <laughs> you know like it's wow wow and again, this is day two. I might just put something on it just to add a little shine, like some oil, but that's about it. I really, really love the way my hair came out. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this wash and go. Let me know if you've tried this collection or if you wanna try this collection. Just leave all of that in the comments below. Like this video if you did enjoy it. And as always, share this video with somebody that can benefit from it. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.